Hello my colleagues and this is new math lesson the central angles and the measuring arcs here we can know more about the circles and uh, the measuring of the angles on the circle central angle and the inscribed angle and their relation with their same arc first of all what's meant by arc the arc uh, is a portion of the circle or a part of the circle which consists of two main points which we call end points like here A and P or A and C uh, and also the arc consists of all the points between these two circles uh, the arc is donated by this symbol this pretty arc uh, over, over the end the two end points and it's called we have here three main types of the arcs these types of arcs are related to the distance between the end points from A to P or from P to A. If, the, if it is equivalent from A to P and also from P to A, so it's called a semicircle or a half circle, where the two arcs from A to P or P to A are equal. Uh, another uh, case when from A to F is smaller than from F to E, which we call a minor arc or a smaller arc another uh, situation when we say the arc su which is greater than the arc us which uh, actually the major arc and these are the three types of the arcs there are two types of angles related to the arcs the central angle and the inscribed angle the central angle is an angle where its terminal sides uh, are on are the two end points of the arc for example here the central angle a and p its two terminals a and p are the two end points of the arc a b and here are some properties about uh, the central angle that the measure of the arc equals to the measure of its central angle for example here if this angle is 160 degree for example so the arc a b is 160 degree and the major arc AB equals to 360 degree minus 160 degree about the length of this arc that the arc uh, the length of the arc is measured by the, the circumference of the circle which here is 2 pi r multiplied by its central angle over 360 360 because this is the measurement of the complete revolution the second type is the inscribed angle. The inscribed angle is, a, is an angle that its two terminals are the two end points of the arc, like here, the angle ACP. The A and P are the two ends of the uh, arc, while C is a point, lies on the outer surface of the circle, here. So, uh, what about the inscribed angle? The inscribed angle has a measurement which equals half the central angle and half the measurement of the arc so the measure of the arc equals double its inscribed angle and also the length the length of the arc equals uh, the circumference of the circle multiplied by 2 multiplied by its inscribed angle all over 360 so and that's all about this lesson thanks for watching